I mean, look at this. It just never stops being green here. Like, what the heck? I mean, just look at this. Talk about a freaking view. Okay, so right now we had to climb like down the side of like a giant freaking like hill. It was super steep. So we made it down to the bottom of where the waterfall is and it's just like so amazing, guys. Okay, because there was a little walkway with a nice little like wooden view where you can see the waterfall. It looks super dope. But the actual best view is coming down and kind of, I mean, at a certain point, kind of risking your life coming down that hill to get to this spot. I really didn't know what I was gonna film today, but after kind of like going through this, I'm like, okay, that's a very important point. You know, do your own thing. You go off the beaten path, get a different view. I mean, I'm pretty sure people come down here to get this shot, but still, you know, most people stay up there, so we came down to get this, and it's just so beautiful, guys. Bro, I just filmed my hand so hard that my actual hand covered the waterfall, but we all know that's not the subject here. The hand is. Film your hand. How much do you love this place? Um, honestly, it goes number two on my list of destinations. Would you have beaten yourself up if you didn't come down that path? Yeah. Peter. What's up? Would you have beaten yourself up if you didn't come down that path? Uh, after seeing How it, yeah. That, uh, definitely think for him. There's like a little formation of sticks over there. Bat squats, bro. The old, the old man. man. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of context, legit. Apparently there's a lot of creepy stuff in Oregon, like random stick formations over there that look spooky, and a thousand year old log that floats around a crater of a volcano that's now a lake, and if you touch it, storms come. You know, just random Oh yeah, and then bat squad. Some real shit right there. Okay, so honestly, like this whole trip really just came out because they had planned to come here like a long time ago. But with the situation that happened, everything got kaput. So now everything got postponed and now we actually had the chance, Carl and I, to come here and I mean, be part of this freaking awesome trip, you know? So it's like super dope. Was not expecting to do this this year, but I'm so glad that I actually get to cross off Oregon in general, like from my bucket list. And that's so dope, guys. I know it's kind of hard to travel right now, but even if you're just stuck at home, like you really try to like break the mold. And even if you're from like a boring location like you can still use that uniqueness of your town or wherever it is you're from to your advantage which will give you a look that no one else has that still kind of revolves around that whole like like essence of going off the beaten path and as a photographer videographer you kind of want your work to have go off the beaten path in life in general that might actually prove like successful i was talking to carla about because she just bought a pair of levi's and i was like, the only reason this guy blew up is because at the time the little metal studs on your pockets and stuff yeah those right there no jeans had them this dude was like yo i'm gonna put some studs on there that way they don't rip when people are mining and he became a millionaire so it's just that as a philosophy in life guys like it's super important but you must do that and yeah if you come to the pacific northwest if you don't have any sort of yellow family like color based outfit like you didn't really come here you know just saying that's a freaking steady right all the way up there yeah, we're, we finished that hike. It was pretty horrible. But yeah, guys, definitely going off the beaten path is what you kind of have to do in general. Just, you know, just to get better shots than that everyone doesn't have, you know? And it also like, I don't know, it feels more fulfilling. It's like, ooh, maybe someone didn't take that shot. So yeah, definitely something to do and look out for a thousand percent. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully you guys learned a thing or two about, I mean, you know, what it is to be a photographer or whatever. Uh, we're in a new spot. So we're going to do some more cool stuff. So yeah, stay tuned for that video, of course. So subscribe, like, and comment if you did enjoy this video. And also stay tuned for more awesome stuff. All right, we're gonna go shoot at a new lake.